We cannot always build the future for our youth, but we can build our youth for the future. Also, it is said in youth we learn and in age we understand. Youth, they say, is the gift of nature, but what happens when the gift is at risk in the present? Trending issues, topics and scenarios that relate directly to the present youth in general. We will bring to you live on Celebration TV every Sunday, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. GMT plus 1 on Youth and Lifestyle. Join in the conversation. There's nowhere else you rather be. Commences. Welcome to Youth and Lifestyle, your favorite corner on Celebration TV. I am James Comfort, a.k.a. CJ. And of course, yes, you know, we are here again today for yet another caution and of course bring you a uh, lasting and um, very standard solution now you know how we do it i have with me in the studio my amazing co-host um seated right next to me is namdi yes namdi <laughs> <laughs> and right next to namdi is lizzie k and our topic for today, what we are looking at is one that is um, it's a little complex. So you have to look at it um, from a very detailed angle. And then you, you do not need to be biased. I need you to look at it with an open mind. Look at it with an open mind, please, so that we could all arrive at a very good compromise. So we'll be looking at our story for today. We'll have that right on our screen now so we can all be together. It says, the job I need but can't have. I would like to remain anonymous. I am a Christian, a devoted one. I am the choir president of my church, which makes it mandatory that I am present for choir rehearsals every Wednesdays and Saturdays, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. I am also the only child and graduate of a single mother because I lost my dad at a tender age. My mom did all she could to see that I complete my education, but I've had a major challenge getting a job after my graduation, banking and finance. Reasons being that I keep getting bank job offers, which makes it mandatory that I work even until Saturday, closing by 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. Accepting these countless job offers would affect my devotion and dedication in God's vineyard, which I can't trade for anything. But my mom is aging and she needs all the care and support she can get now, which I am supposed to provide. I am confused. What do I do? This brother is asking. Mm. I'm sure we've all heard, wow. <laughs> we've all heard his story. He studied banking and finance. He's a graduate. He has been getting job offers. They keep uh, being the part of his, like, career-wise, yeah. bank, banking jobs. And then he's saying now that he, he's the choir president. Yeah. So he has to be in church on Wednesdays and Saturdays, on feeling yeah, 3 p.m. through 7 p.m. Okay. But you know how banking job goes? Mm -hmm. Like, you have to be in the office. And then sometimes now he has to even work on Saturdays. And he wouldn't close until 6 or 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. But of course, man got work. Mother is there. There's no other child to support her, to support yeah. the family. He's the only one. So what, what is he going to do now? That's what he's saying. So if you're watching right now, kindly start calling in to give us your suggestions, your mm. advice, your contribution. This brother needs a help. Okay. Wow. This, this issue is... The way, really... the way Lizzie is smiling, it's like you have all this answer for this guy. No, already. no. 
that's what I'm saying. The, the issue is mind. really com confusing yes, that's what because oh. people have to address it with open mind. The truth is, you cannot weigh God, God's work, and a job. That's the truth. You, you cannot. cannot you cannot. You can't, you can't weigh. weigh it. Okay, you can't compare. You can't yeah. compare. Okay. His work and yeah, and that's where the issue is become very, very, very delicate. Okay. So many people will say, okay, it's working for, for God already. You cannot, you cannot <laughs> leave uh, yeah, yeah, CJ, God's when you started, work you said, in said church. You open mind, <laughs> yes. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, I I'm don't know. Lizzie, open I'm, your I'm, mind. I'm, Let us see through you. Now open Lizzie, we are opening the mind together. Uh, no, no, no. So, no. <laughs> well, I'm, at, I'm approaching the if thing. If I saw yeah. him and I was going to talk to him, to me, I don't think he has a problem. Okay. I think he's the one wanting to give himself a problem. problem. Okay. Because even the Bible, even the Word of God encourages okay. you to work. You understand? Yeah. Now, if you look That's at the book true. of um, Thessalonians chapter 3, you look at verse 10, 11, 12. <coughs> now, it says, even when we were not with you, we gave you this rule. If a man does not work, then he must not eat. Yeah. It says, we've heard news that some of you are idle. You're not busy, you're busy bodies. But this is how it ended now. It says, to such persons, we urge and we command in the Lord Jesus Christ to settle and earn the bread that they eat. Okay. Now, this is trying to get, show you the place of putting in effort huh. and then Comfort, being where are you uh, driving compensated at? for it. So what I'm saying is this. Mm. You can't say because you're... You. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 2 says Revive thy work in the midst of the years In Psalm 85 verse 6 He said Will thou not revive thy people again That thy people may rejoice We are in the season of revival Revival fire is sweeping across the nations of the world Go and change your family story Go and change Take it, take it, take it Take it, take it Let a testimony come upon thy brother Sister, that is it, that's it, that's it Fever and I'm coming this time to the University of Benin. God has told me to go out to campuses, universities around the nations of the earth with the revival fire. You, you a student of Unilag, Uniport, Unijos, UNN, any campus where you attend your studies. Be my guest in University of Benin. Two days of impact. Your life will never remain the same again. Do you know anyone in Germany? A young guy? Yes, sir. Who is he? It's my, it's my fiance. Eh? My fiance. Uh -huh. The Lord said, I should tell you, in two years, seven months, the Lord would have made you international. Amen. And the Lord will make you and your sister the extended voice of the entire family. Amen. What about school? No going to school. Why? What level did you stop? First year. Did you write end of school exam? I wrote. You wrote? I failed. You failed? You are carrying the destiny of three people. I saw in the realm of the spirits, you were three. Yes, sir. When you were born. Yes, sir. One died. Yes, sir. Another died. Yes, sir. Remained only you. Yes, sir. All those of you who have GPs that are low, this semester, what God will do for you shall elevate your GP. Hey! 17th October 2021 and 3 p.m. daily. Happening at the Indoor Sports Hall, Uniben. At those state Nigeria. For inquiries, please call. Tell everyone that Johnson Suleiman is coming to Uniben for a move of God's spirit for impact 2021. It's time for revival. Spirits. 
Hello, God bless you. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 2 says, Revive. Welcome back. We deeply apologize for that break in transmission. It was due to a technical hitch which we have sorted out. So back to our topic for today. It says, All youth devoted but unemployed. And our story again, I'm going to come again for those who are just joining. Now, it says, a job I need but can't have. I would like to remain anonymous. I am a Christian, a devoted one. I am the choir president of my church, which makes it mandatory that I am present for choir rehearsals every Wednesdays and Saturdays, 3 p.m. through 7 p.m. I am also the only child and graduate of a single mother because I lost my dad at a tender age. My mom did all she could to see that I complete my education, but I've had a major challenge getting a job after my graduation. Now he's saying he started banking and finance. Reasons being that he keeps getting banking job offers, which makes it mandatory that I work every day, like even until Saturday, closing by 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. Accepting these countless job offers would affect my devotion and dedication in God's vineyard, which I can't trade for anything, but my mom is aging and she needs all the care and support she can get now, which I am supposed to provide. I am confused. What must I do? And like I said before, this is one that is quite complex, so you have to approach it with an open mind. And before the break, I was saying something. Okay. I don't think he really has a problem um, because this is it. You need to work, yeah. just like he has stated. And then serving God is not only as a result of your availability. And then there are other ways through which you can serve can God. God. It is not only by being the choir master that you can serve God. I believe um, that's where the place of flexibility comes in where you have to compromise you have to arrange things if you know you you want to go for the banking job you have to um fix your schedule in a way that you would be able to go to church still there are different programs in in church you understand you can be able to go to church still serve god and then work like even with your money you can also contribute to the work the work, work of god work. so i'm saying that <coughs> the other choice okay. you can have is if you would want to go outside the banking field you understand there are so many there are so many jobs you can't say you, it depends on what you are looking for you understand there are so many jobs so if you're not going to work in the bank take another option but if you're going to work in the bank you're saying it's only banking offers you've been getting okay and then from you saying now that you don't know what to do is because you are really considering taking the banking the job, job. Yeah. yes so if it's as a result of you're being available for um, rehearsals. That is your major challenge now. Of course, you're a leader. You have to be available. You understand? At some point in time. If it's not going to be doable, if it's not going to be doable, I wouldn't advise him to like, reject the job because of his position as choir master. Look for some other way to make yourself available or contribute to God's work. Serve him still. But then also do what you need to do outside. Get the truth is, I, I agree with what you said. If actually he has been praying for a job, and with all the situation he has been saying, the mom, the father is not around. Yes, he's, he's the supposed only to take child. care of the mom and all that. I believe, I believe God is just answering his prayers because with the banking jobs, with a job actually. No, if it, it yeah, yeah. yeah. The banking job. <laughs> the banking job. Hmm? I don't think what God wants okay, for him is big. Okay. Miracle. Ah, ah miracle. Good miracle. to have you back. Good evening and God bless you. Good evening. Good evening. Miracle. Thank you. Welcome. Happy Sunday to all of you. Happy Sunday. Same, Same here. You. Your contribution quickly. Okay. Yes. The story you just tell yeah. is exactly what happened to me. Wow. Okay. So I'm sharing what I did. Okay. Maybe to be of help. Okay. The same thing happened to me. My dad died when I was tender age. Then before he died, he said I should go and bank in a finance. 
Il y a donc la guise. Mais si je peux m'en faire j'en veux, à y redit. Mais de quand ça va être plus tendu, il est mort. So before it means que my father died, so I started getting job in bank. And I'm a devoted Christian. I love serving God. So I come to church at times on Wednesday. I came back around 8. I missed midweek service. It was so bad that my boss loved me so much because of my commitment in the banking job. On Sundays, I go to work. I don't have peace at all. And I don't, I, there's nothing I can do that can make me happy apart from serving God. So I was asking the Holy Spirit, what should I do? I love helping people. I started running pregnancy ministry. Immediately I started the daily promotion in my place of work. I was given an official car and I was transferred to pay that I can't even go to church today. Oh. It became a serious issue. So I have to resign. So when I resigned, my mom was on my neck. I need to go and get a job. I need to help him. There's some responsibilities in my family to take care of. But once I did, I began to ask the Holy Spirit, what should I really do? And God was telling me that I have a call in ministry full time. I said, how will I do it? I'm a lady, a young lady. How do I do it? What do you So, but I keep on praising God. I keep on asking God. I was in evangelism. I was in, I was in so many um, units in my church. But I heard the word the man of God said that your consignment is in your assignment. So that word, he started asking God, okay, quick, there's something I can do to help my mother. Okay, okay so what did you do? That's what I want to tell you now. So there's uh, something that came in our church for ministerial work, okay. both men and female. So when I was asking God, if I should join, because they pay us, they take care of us. So I started from there, everything turned. Can you take care of my own? Maybe you do other things. So what I want to advise this young man, for instance, maybe God might be calling me, like, like Samuel, God was calling me, could be here, sorry, you have to go to Eli. So if it's a child, we should ask his pastor, this is what is happening, help me, what should I do? Adventure, only God can intervene. But another thing, there's another job you can do, okay. that can give you time to see some God. Yeah. It depends on what he or she wants. Exactly. So I believe you ask God, but what I shared is what just happened to me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Miracle. Thank you. So, comfort. Yes, exactly. Like what I said before, she still stated the same thing. The there are other jobs you understand you can do. But if you're saying you are not getting other offers other at all, all, that's what I was because saying. Because you need to work. That's Mata what I'm is very um, concerned about. Now, yeah. she's even a, a lady. Yeah. He's a man. You understand? He's the only child in the family. The mom would survive. The mom is already aging, like he, he yeah. stated. He is the one that is there now, supposed to take care of his mom. So the, the period of staying jobless, how have you been surviving? Been coping, yeah. How have you even been taking okay, care I want of your you to, needs? I want you to take longer. something from um, this young man. Okay. Before you have a position in church, mm -hmm. you're not... Um, lazy you're not idle per se how do you mean you're not lazy, lazy you're not idle. Or idle. That's this is it yeah. to be a, a leader mm -hmm. in a church or yeah. in any organization yes means you have a certain capacity, capacity in you differs. no i'm going somewhere now you're right I know because where you're going. You know I'm where just I'm going seeing. yes but I'm okay because the part where you you were quoted a scripture and said uh, if you don't work, don't eat. Yeah. This young man is not that kind of person who are not ready to work. How? He's ready to work. That's why he's even How looking for a job know? in the How first place. That's why he's looking for jobs. Because he's looking for a job. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. That's why he's looking for a no, job. Proceed. Okay, we have a call. Okay, Chidi, Chidi from, from Kaduna State. State. Hello, Chidi. Hello. Yeah, Hello. good afternoon. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, what's your contribution on the topic? Okay, concerning the, the story of um, the young man. Yes. Okay. Okay. He 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 loved God, mm -hmm. and he wants to work for God. Yeah. And there is a work out there yeah. yes. for him to help his family. Yeah. There is other work out there to do. You can do business. You can do other things that are great time for you and God. 
Because without God, that, that, that work is useless. Okay. Of course, we know. It's useless. Same thing should that be back. So what are you like, advising nothing. him to do? Hello? So what are should, you advising him? He's, he's saying he should start a business. I'm, I'm telling him that it's not, it's not, that work is not my duty that he must do. He can look for other things to do. Okay, in so Nigeria, in, in, in this country right now, people are going out there to do another work. You cannot do one thing. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> he he's actually worried now. If you notice, he say he has been getting, which means it's not the first, it's not the second, it's not the third. Banking he has been getting, girl. and now he's worried because he needs a source of income. That's why this is even an issue of concern to him. Else, he wouldn't even talk about okay. it. Now he needs a source of income. Okay. Since he's serving in the church, yes. Is there not anybody in the church that have a good work for that will create time for him? <laughs> this, I think, see, the thing is, I understand what you're saying, but as an employer, you understand. He said uh, he has to be unavailable three p.m. to seven p.m. Seven p.m. So, how many employers would be? Ready? No, no, you didn't get what he said. He said in the church. That's what I'm saying. Even, Even in, in the church, church, how many people will be no, ready he, to... Is the person to... not an employer? You understand? He's the owner of his business. Because you need to think from this perspective, Chidi. If you have an office, and then you have so many members of staff in that office, if everybody in that office decides to be like this young man, exactly. because they have one position yeah. they are holding in church, in church, and then this one has to be unavailable Tuesday and Wednesday, this one has to be unavailable... Friday, More what, day and, like, yeah. So you have to also look at it from the um, point of can an I, employer. Can I say something? Yes. Yeah. I you do uh, that is my teacher brother. There's one something he said one day like that. He said when your certificate stop, your mm -hmm. skills co start continue. Doesn't he have excuse? <laughs> well, hmm. From the look of things, you can see that this is somebody who is not really skilled from any angle because he's not considering any any other else. option. Yeah. He doesn't appear like someone who has tried options of other areas he said he has been getting banking jobs that's why I, I was trying to, to wait for you like where you were headed yeah he's just focused now on the bank on this job. banking job yeah. i'm not sure he's even trying somewhere else but now you are stuck you need a source of income because you need to survive it means you're already like under, okay i'm, um, I'm sure uh, chidi has made his uh, contribution chidi, are you right? still there Yes, yeah, so okay. that is why that that is why he's asking this question now. So, like, what would you advise him to do, Chidi? What I would advise him to do, if you know, if you know the best, what would make him happy? Hmm. Because I, I want to advise him to leave God, to leave the service of God to, to any way. Just you know, determine and focus on what you want. But let me tell something. Without God, the money you are looking for is useless. Yeah. Of that course, course. money and people are useless. And even though you focus on that business, God and leave God one side. The business also, that that work is also useless. Okay. So just know what you are looking for and focus. That is. Okay, but Chidi, are you saying, to... are you saying being the choir master is the only way he can serve God? No. So why do you? Okay. Anyway, that's that's just what I wanted to hear. Thank <laughs> you. Right. He, Thank you. He, he must not. He must not be a choir master. Okay. If I look for any other things to join the church, like ushering and other things, it must not be a choir master. Exactly. Thank if you look you. for someone to, to fit in that position, then look for another thing to fit himself, <clears> to create time for his family and, and you know, his work too. It must not be a choir master. Sometimes okay. living as a pastor all these things and then and want to want to create legacy for himself in that choir master of a thing. If you just look for something to do in the church, it must not be Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Chidi. Thank you, Chidi. Thank you. Unamdi, you were saying something. Lizzie, you yeah, to say okay. That's why. I, that's what I was actually. I wanted to ask. Like, nah. if he leaves this uh, president choir of a thing, is it that he's going to sin against God? He's not the... because people are. It's now like, if he's not choir president, God is going to remove that job from his hand. It's not the choir president now that I'm even thinking about. Okay, what are you thinking about? In church, about? Um, midweek services, we, we, we get services like two to three services in a week before Sunday service. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, I don't know what department doesn't function in those services. 
Because Chidi was just mentioning. president. No, leave, leave president now. Let's, that's what is the most no, important. Let's go. There. No, it's not the most important. The most important is that he cannot leave the presence of God for a job. He cannot sacrifice living, serving God and be doing a job that will even require him to be there on Sundays. So, no, he's not saying he cannot he's, sacrifice he's saying on serving Saturday. God. He's saying that he cannot sacrifice being available for his choir rehearsals. Because I've always said, that's what there I'm are saying. so many ways to serve, to God. serve God. And he stated you that it's because he's president. He, he's a yes. most. If he was not a pre the president, president, you think he would just be saying what he's saying? He wouldn't. He would, he wouldn't. You he wouldn't be saying what he's saying. No, he I'm would. not sure he will. I'm sure, he what, I'm sure the problem you, here you, is the fact that he's the choir president. Yes. And he's supposed to lead people. Exactly. It's supposed to lead people. For him to be available for every rehearsal. So, I'm not sure if... If if that's the case, being just a choir president, that's why, then... Um, the, 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 the thing is a bit balanced because I believe every leader has uh, somebody assisting them. Exactly. So, yes, then from there you can um, create, um, uh, do a structure in a way that to where, make it work. yes, in a way, okay, Pastor Hillary from Edo State. Hello, Pastor. Hello, good Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Sir. <laughs> good evening. Why are you there? All right, Pastor oh, Hillary. No. no, I'm nothing. I'm just happy to to talk to you. So <laughs> give us your contribution. Okay. I think uh, if I get the question right, because I came in there uh, when you guys were most having of the, the, story. the question of that person. Okay, okay, let me just run it. Let me just run it through for you briefly. So okay. this young man mm -hmm. is the choir master in his church and then he's yeah. the only child of his um, mom his dad is late okay. so it's just himself and his mom he's a graduate okay. he studied banking and finance and he has been having okay. challenges with getting a job now he has been getting several offers but they're in the banking line offers from the okay. bank but now he's seen his talk and his challenges he has to be available in church every Wednesday and Saturday from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. But then the banking job may not actually permit him because he has to work even on Saturdays and then he wouldn't close until 6 or 7 p.m. So he doesn't know what to do right now. Should he take the job or should he forfeit it? Okay, that means he has never gotten a job. Is just offer from the look yeah, of yeah, the offer. Okay, he has, he has he, never accepted he, to work. He is the choir president, yes. yes. Uh, every choir president has a vice that will deputize for him or her, <clears throat> yeah. True, that's true. For, for any of the any church, except maybe the way is the only child of the father is only the is the only member of the choir also <laughs> uh, because you need money to serve god that's it you not to talk of true. when your parents your you are the only child when they were paying your school fees they didn't pay you to come and do my master <laughs> they paid your school fees your parents the parents or the mother that said him Make sure that the child graduates from school and at least get a job and take care of her. Yeah. Okay, so uh, from, if, your, if, from your explanation, if, Pastor Hillary, yeah, what you should take the job okay. and start working in the bank and tell uh, assistant uh, master to take over his position. He can start that, he can become the assistant uh, master. When they come for meeting, he will give their transport to go to meet. They will respect him. <laughs> okay. When they come for contribution, he will bring that money. They will respect him. That being a choir master without a job. Wow. They will even insult him when he's bringing contribution <laughs> because he don't have money. So, he needs money to so, God. so what you're basically... A, job. a man of God, what you're basically saying now is that um, it's all about the money. <laughs> Stepping down from he's stepping down from choir and getting a job does not mean he's stepping down from uh, 
from uh, uh, from seven exactly. You are coming, you stepping down from. That's what I was saying. My point. You are not getting it. You are not getting it. This is the job we are talking about. A bank job that might even. Make you not to go to church no. on a Sunday. No. That's what we are saying. He yes, he said on a bankers they work on Sundays. Saturday. We are just looking at Saturdays. Bankers they work yeah. on Sundays. So what I'm even saying is that God cannot give you a job that will take you away from Him. So you think you think all bankers in this world now they are not serving God? Is that what you are thinking? I'm not saying they are not serving God. I'm talking about this young man who is saying that a job will make him not to serve God the way he wants to serve God. This and we are, we, are, we are focusing more on the money part, Pastor Hillary. Now, the hold on. This hold on. I'm the caller. You are the host. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> and I also want you to balance it. I want you, you to balance it. Him. You can't force him. No, I'm not forcing him. Wait. Now, the wait. Okay. Let him give his own. This, this person eh, mm -hmm. is already serving God. He's yeah. not a sinner. Exactly. He needs money because this same person now, if he does not have money, he will commit more sin. It's, nobody will help him. Ah. Yes. Because even in the church, there is somebody that will insult him. What he should do, if it is only a bad job that is calling him, and he does not like it, he wants to have more time to serve his God, and if he direct banking as he now, he should start, uh, uh, start collecting daily contributions around this place so that he can have an uh, opportunity to serve God better. It should okay. be creative. See, that is where God has called him. Thank you. Now you are balancing it. <laughs> Let him get a source of income and leave bank job. This Thank is you. not called to do bank job. Thank you. Because and I know... Yes, you, those are still one of the... Yes, because I know God is not the author of confusion. <laughs> Please, that person should, he should not carry... And uh, whether you like it or not, sir. Okay. Let me make one point before I drop the call. I know aware that no matter how long you stay in the choir master position, they will see change they you. Will drop they will see drop you. Yes. That's okay. the truth. Are they not drop you? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. I can hear that. When they not drop you, now you not go back to choir member. Except choir ending. member. Do they be paying him retirement uh, salary? Then he still gets his chance because he has already made he's already made arrangement on the work he wants to be doing that will permit him to be going to Riazas. So he still gets the chance to go to normal Riazas Saturdays, he will be jobless Wednesdays. By that time. He will not be jobless because he he's already planning now to get a job or do a business that will permit him planning. to planning. be going to church. Anyway, we'll come back to this discussion. Thank you, Pastor. There, there, there is laziness in the in the life of also. <laughs> when I mean laziness, the person that is talking is trying to. Place exactly. That's just. Yeah. Thank you. Know, you. He's lazy. He's not creative. He's lazy. Mm. God bless. When you say lazy, he did not he's, give any he's, other. He's, he's, he's bank job. Bank job is a marathon race. No, he did not give any other brother. I've been doing this or doing that. Even before that, you need to send this text message. They can give him money. Pastor Hillary, thank you for your contribution. Thank you, sir. We, we, need to, we need to take a break um, right now, thank but you, thank sir. you for calling and thank you for your contribution. Thank you very much. Okay, we are going on yes. a break right now. We are going on a break already. I know Nandi is very angry, but <laughs> we will come back for him now. Just don't go anywhere. Stay and please keep calling after the break. <laughs> Welcome to Youth and Lifestyle. What business are you planning to showcase to the world? That which will satisfy the need of humanity? Of course, with Celebration TV, it will get the desired reciprocation you long for. We are committed to giving your business and services that quality touch of class and you will be happy you made the right choice by placing that investment of yours on the right platform. Without delay, you can call on this number for your advert placement, partnership or sponsorship of our programs. Celebration Television, your best bet. What business are you planning to showcase to the world? That which will satisfy the need of humanity? Of course, with Celebration TV, it will get the desired reciprocation you long for. We are committed to giving your business and services that quality touch of class and you will be happy you made the right choice by placing that investment of yours on the right platform. Without delay, 
you can call on this number for your advert placement, partnership or sponsorship of app programs. Celebration Television, your best bet. Welcome to Youth and Lifestyle. Welcome to Youth and Lifestyle. Welcome to Youth and Lifestyle. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are still on Youth and Lifestyle. Yes, this topic here right now is a very hot one. Yeah. So please call if you have any any advice for this brother. Please call and give your advice. Okay. Before we go on a break, ah, you know, in in church there are so many people that believe that because they are serving God, they will not walk and they will not. I don't Using know. It as an excuse to they see they are actually they That's do it. That's why when Unabi was trying to say something that before they give you a position in church, it means you are hardworking. I was trying to tell you something, and that's why I was saying that. Not always. Not always. You understand that it's very busy. It depends. See, I'm not just me. I, mean, I know. Of course, it depends because you just made mention of uh, there are people in church. I'm trying to tell you that. You mean in church? Where, where, where? 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 God that believe that, that if they are serving God, yeah. they will not. They will not do something. Yes. Yeah. That that like what? Like what? Like, from, um, no, I'm not saying serving. Like in departments, especially yeah, in, departments. in departments. No, we just departments. People make it clear. There are people okay. eh, who would rather come to every single service okay. fixed in church or engage in every church activity rather than get a job outside. You are forgetting that even while you're serving God, you still need to work you and make money. Okay, it. Eberi is calling from River State. Hello, Eberi. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, you're welcome, Eberi. Yeah. yeah. Your contribution, yeah, quickly. Um, Hello. Your oh, contribution, can you. we can hear you. Yes, I'm flying, I'm flying the program and I saw the person that sent that uh, message to get the right thing to do. Okay. One, he's a believer and he has a job or an existing job or looking for another one. In church, in, he's a church member and it's a leader in choir. The every church has Several units we can belong and still serve God and set up me. If he's a choir leader, a leader is not a title, it's an avenue to stand. It's not a village title. A, a choir leader is an opportunity to serve God. True. And you have considered that you need, you need a job or you need a change of job. And your job demands that you should be at work when the weekly service will be going on. Just like that pastor said, there we have assistants, we have other people who can represent you. You can sit the song way and see the serving God. Okay. Doing what you are supposed to do. Thank God for social media. Thank God for uh, technology and all that. You can still be at work in the sea and still be impactful yeah. in, in God's house. True. So if the, the choir member or choir leader you are, that if you're not around, you are feeling that you're not serving. Change another unit where you can serve God and still do your work. There is no church that will move forward when you are not responsible. It's good, it's good that you should be members, yes. But let's be responsible members as well. True. If you are called as a leader to bring money for a unit member that has issue and you don't have it, your leadership has no serious effect. It becomes more impactful when you are there you are serving with your time, your talent, and your treasure. So if you want to leave your treasure to put up your talent, when treasure is needed, you will be missing out. So you look for a way to but You must not be a member or a leader in choir. If really that person is a, a born again, a believer. If choir is disturbing you to serve or is affecting your job, look for another unit where you will still be effective and still do your job and get money. I because think, I think you have said it all. Lord, when there is no money, they won't listen to you. <laughs> yes. Thank that you so much. Finances as well. True. You have, you're very true. correct. Thank, Thank you so you much, Iberi, for your Thank contribution. You. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 That's just the truth. And again, another, another thing I see from this story yeah. is that this, I'm sorry to say, but this brother is obviously lazy. 
That's yeah, it. I disagree I'm, with you. I'm telling you, this this yeah, brother is truth. obviously lazy. How can you say that? A woman you're not even, is only you're not even being and creative. Finance, you're not even you thinking are... about other things. What are, what are... Because that's the reason why this banking job is now thinking about considering this banking job is now so much of a challenge for you and now you are stuck you because have to, you, have to, you don't you have, have to put other factors to, together what other why, factors? Why, why he's actually considering in getting in taking this job because as, he, as he's considering to take the job because he needs money now he needs a source of income, income. yes so, that's why as he said so that i'm saying don't put it to say he's lazy he's lazy i would say he's lazy because this is why you studied banking and finance Okay. If you know your concern now, okay, we have a caller, yeah, Ifoma call. from River State. Hello, Ifoma. Please, I'm watching this. Hello, Hello, Ifoma. I'm watching this program. Okay. And I want you to be more interested so that I can write something for me. Okay, okay. thank <laughs> you so much. It will. Much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You understand? Yeah. So, what I was saying is this there are other, there are so many kind of jobs. Okay. There are so many things you can do yeah. in this generation to make money. It doesn't necessarily have to be the banking job. Because mm -hmm. like you said, you want to be available. You value that offer so much. Maybe you are very good when it comes to music and all that. And you feel yeah. you want to do so much in the house of God through music. Then there are so many other areas which brings flexibility in which you'll be able to be working and then also still serving God, still as a choir master. Yeah. But the reason why you are, you are having so much of a problem now is because the only line you are concentrating on is the banking line. Henry from Hello, Enugu Henry State. from Enugu State. Hello, Henry. Yeah, hello, sir. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> okay, so what's your plan? I just want to... Yeah, I just want to say something. Because the way Nandi, I don't know if the Nandi is your name, but the way you are standing, I don't know if you are the guy in question. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why you are disagreeing with everybody. No, you no, know, no, no, no. I'm not the guy. I'm not the guy in question. Some, <laughs> no, it's <laughs> just simple something. You okay. understand? So yeah. if the person okay. wants the job, now you are not the owner of the bank. You understand, and you are not to tell them what to do. Yeah. Course. So if you can't do the work because you require a master or whatsoever, so you can go and meet your church. If the church can, if they can be paid Pay a reasonable you. amount, that okay now you are you have donated your life to the church or the position. Okay. So this is the only thing I can do. So go and discuss with them. But if they can't do anything, you should go for the job. And you look for another thing Thank that you. you can even be doing for the child. Like one of one sister asked you. So does that mean that all bankers, all bankers are not serving God? Or, That's it. Uh, they are not serving God. Okay. You understand? Even if you are there, even if they want to buy clothes, they want to buy this and that, you still have to do it with exactly. your money. Yeah. yeah. You understand? Um, I don't think I have ministry member here in Enugu. So okay. it's just simple something. But the way you are, the way you are being angry and the way you are standing. So I don't know if you are the, if you are the guy. In I don't it's know, Enrio. <laughs> if you are doing of your, like me, I I have workers that is working for me. Okay. So now I know I'm the owner of my business. So I can do whatever I want to do. Yeah. You understand? Like when it comes to church and all that. But I remember, if you are working, you are not to tell me what to do. You understand? I have exactly. my little regulation. If you can't do that, you go. But exactly. if you can't, be there. So it's just simple. If the church, if they will allow, like if they will accept to be paying you because of your position or whatsoever, it's fine. But if they cannot do that because you have so many responsibilities. Now you are even talking of your, your mom. mom. Are you not going to be married? Are you not going to have your own ah. family? Huh. We used oh, to be working at the bank at that time. Okay, uh, Henry, are you there? Yeah, okay. Uh, thank you so much for your contribution. It makes a lot of sense. But there's a part I, I want you to I want to get clear. Okay. Okay. Then. All right. But do you do you agree and do you believe with me that people have different way that they think of serving God? That is true. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, I believe. Okay. Do you agree with me that some people, when they go far from what they call church? they tend to misbehave outside. Going to church at the frequent time keeps them in check. 
No, that is. It means you don't even know. It means you don't even know yourself, or you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> are you sleeping in the church? Are you living in the church? After you are still go back to your home. So whatever you want to do, you oh can still do that. God. So you being in the church, are you, not, you are not even some pastors. They are pastors, but. They know some other things they are doing. So leave They are still working. Yeah. So he just simple something. If the church can be paying him the eternity, no problem. No but problem. if they can't do that, <laughs> let him go and look for work and look for another position. Exactly, yeah, I agree with you. Okay. It's just simple. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for your Thank, Thank you. So much. Much. Thank you for your yeah. yeah. See, we don't even need to let me tell you something. We don't even need to talk too much. Say the restoration of Apostle Professor Johnson Suleiman, he's like a senior pastor of a yeah. ministry that is in so many countries across the world. He travels from one place to another. Do you think he only teaches? Apostle has told us that he has had business um, gatherings where he, he teaches like business people. You yeah. understand? He has other jobs too. He has employees. Yeah. Now, he already has a system in place that ensures that this works. But do you know what I'm trying to drive at here? Despite serving God, you understand, yeah. he's still working. The same thing with the dynamic mother, Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman. Yeah. She runs so many, so many. Um, businesses. Yeah. She is somebody that always even wants to empower people, exactly. encourage you to work because it is important that you work and you earn money. Yeah. So the bottom line here for me with this young man is this. It's because he's Talking now about this banking job, it is the banking job that keeps coming, and that's why I say okay. he's lazy. I feel he's not putting in enough it's effort. effort. Okay, yeah. what he's enough saying. effort you're saying, like putting in enough effort to get other things. Yes, that yes. try I, other that angles. Be, I even remember one day, yes, I even remember a banking job one day where Apostle Joseph Thomas said it when he was preaching. Mm. He said, apart from you, what you did in school. Mm. No, he used he yeah, used he used pidgin language. He said, "Sabi something." something. Be skillful. You need that to somebody know how to go. Pastor, okay, we, we have a caller. Hello, Emmanuel. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Welcome. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Um, my contribution is that the guy should consider his calling. Everyone has a calling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The guy should consider calling? his calling. And in, working in a bank also takes risks. Remember that. Of course, every job comes with their risk. Yeah. So you should be able to ask the Holy Spirit, what do you want me to do at this point? Thank you. Now, if 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 if, 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 you're, just, if you're just considering the money aspect and how you will be able to settle his family. God to be even be using that choir master as a preservation for him not to get that job. Thank you. And get into bigger problems that will lead him into bigger problems. Mm. Okay. Okay. I'm not saying he should take the job or not take the job. But okay. ask the Holy Spirit, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to go in this aspect of life? This is another stage in which he wants to go into again. Don't forget the aspect of the Holy Spirit in this kind of situation. There are jobs that will even take you to court. Okay. So that's my point. Thank you. Right, should so be able to ask your for submission the is you should Spirit ask the Holy to, Spirit. Okay. Yes, okay. for direction. He's a Christian. Yeah. We are not we are, we are not unbelievers in this aspect. We are not we are not going to take steps like unbelievers. Okay. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so Thank much you. for your contribution, Thank Emmanuel. Because um uh, what the manager said now, mm -hmm. because we are uh, because of the the, uh, the guiding where we are. Yes. Because, um, there are some things you cannot just do. In fact, don't do anything blindly. Like um, this young man just said, um, um, he's looking for a job and he's getting offers from the bank because yes. um, um, because that's you. where that's where it's actually um, that's kind of that's, that's where for the yeah. Yes, that's that's study. Study. But I don't want us to forget the the place of. Um, where you guys mentioned Apostle Joseph Suleiman said, mm -hmm. yeah. it's not all open doors that are God do God's doors. Mm -hmm. Okay. What this means is this. Because that thing is shining, and then, just like Emmanuel said, you ask God for it. Once, see, like I said it before now, but you guys didn't hear me. God is not the author of confusion. God cannot give you something 
that he will end up losing you. I'm, the, I'm not. What? I don't think that guy is confused. Can also, he's I'm confused. I'm not no, sure no, no, no. If there was a confusion, maybe. Come into, ah, God, yeah. The same I'm, God also will not give you or put you in a situation that you cannot handle. That He has not equipped you. What if that handle? offer is even That's from God? At, what See, if the bank offer is no, from God? No, no. You, why I will tell you that it's not from God is this because that young man is confused already. I don't, I, don't confused. Confused. I don't see any confusion. I don't see any confusion. He said it on his in the message he sent now. He's seeing confusion. He's, Why? Because he has one. There's no confusion because there's one option. There's he's, only one option. Actually, he's telling you he's confused now because mm -hmm. he doesn't want to leave. Um, he doesn't want to sacrifice then his that means he has out for that. Joy. He did not even say that he does not want to get God angry. He, he said he, he does, does not know. want to sacrifice his reasons for the. Yes, he I don't know if you understand. You people are. You know what I'm saying. The truth is this. Of course, you cannot take away the place of spirituality from yeah. anything. Yeah. But then at the same time, there is something called common yeah, sense. We have, a, we have a caller. Hello, Covenant. Hello, Covenant. From Lagos State. Hello. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, Namde, what you were saying, something like that. Um, if you are like a, let's say, you are a choir master now. Yeah. Doesn't mean you should know to have a job. Yeah. Of course. If you want to start God. Okay. Even if God says that you can serve God, you can you can serve God see and you can you can walk. Okay. Are you hearing what yes, you yes, you, you can plan. hear you. Yeah, so if like you would walk you walk it, it's not allowing you to serve God. Like Let's say you're a choir master and it's not allowing you to come to choir practice, then you draw down out completely. You do what? And you draw down completely. You, like, you, like you, you can do an usher work. <laughs> that one can be better. Okay. It doesn't, that doesn't stop you from serving God. Okay. You can serve God. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. yes. Yeah, that's what that's what that's what right. yeah. okay. thank you. Okay. okay, did you forget that uh ushers they also go for <laughs> meetings? Yeah, I understand. Ushers yeah. go for meetings, but you can I, I also you make can up. change, you, you can, can make up make up, yeah. Yes, I mean yes, and then it's uniform even as Information, but no, but you see, you can't choir take is permission different. Well, you have to see, every you week. have to rehearse with people and, and some yeah, precedents. Yes, it's precedents. He has to be available. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so, you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Covenant. Okay, oh. we'll be we'll be going on an, another break. I don't know why you're looking at me like that, Namdi. <laughs> we are going on another break now. Yeah. So don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome to Youth and Lifestyle. Welcome to Youth and Lifestyle. Welcome to Youth Business. Are you planning to showcase to the world that which will satisfy the need of humanity? Of course, with Celebration TV, it will get the desired reciprocation you long for. We are committed to giving your business and services that quality touch of class and you will be happy you made the right choice by placing that investment of yours on the right platform. Without delay, you can call on this number for your advert placement, partnership or sponsorship of our programs. Celebration Television, your best bet. What business are you planning to showcase to the world? That which will satisfy the need of humanity? Of course, with Celebration TV, it will get the desired reciprocation you long for. We are committed to giving your business and services that quality touch of class and you will be happy you made the right choice by placing that investment of yours on the right platform. Without delay, you can call on this number for your advert placement, partnership or sponsorship of our programs. Celebration Television, your best bet. What business are you planning? Welcome back. You're on to Youth and Lifestyle. And our topic for today, all oh, youth devoted was unemployed. Does it mean that you have to forfeit working because you want to serve God? Or can't you serve God and at the same time do something 
to also make money and take care of yourself. Now, before the break, Unamdi, you've been trying to uh, bring out so many, I don't know, I won't call them points, so many angles to these stories, you understand? Mm -hmm. And then it, it keeps me wondering, because I believe that our viewers are also interested. Yeah. Are you saying that if this young man forfeits the position of the choir master, he cannot serve God, or that makes him stop serving God automatically. And I was, and that made me ask one of the callers a question. I, I asked him something. I said, "Do you believe that people have their mindset of how they want to do things?" People have their yeah, mindset of they how do. they want to do things. And do you well, believe? Mean no, no, no. You asked me a option. question, right? Yes. It's not the only option. You can't give people option because you have several options. You've not answered my question. And I'm, I'm going to answer it if you allow okay. me. And now, this young man is telling us now that if he goes out to get the banking job now, mm -hmm. it's yeah. going to affect his service. Yes. And you want to question him that, is it only when you are in a choir position that you would serve God? And his, 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 his narration is telling you now that this is how I can serve God. That is this how is how I know God. that I can serve my that own is God. That is how he can serve God. Yes. I'm asking you. Yes, that. From your own point of view, forget about this young this man. Young we are here to treat his own confused. issue. He's not. This, that's why he's, he's confused asking, because he's asking us now. So I'm asking you, Unamdi, if that. he stops being the choir master, does it mean he has stopped? He has stopped God? serving answer God. Answer, say all. yes or, or no. no. Give me a plain answer. There's no answer that is a answer of yes or no. No, if I can't give you a yes or no because master, it's not. I'm not the does one it mean in question. He has stopped serving God. No, the question is coming to you now. If it's coming to me, it should also be directed to the young man. You know. Have, you don't even have a clear point you are standing I on. I do. You can't yeah. direct it to the even, young man. Are you even hearing me at all? On, on that part, I said, you cannot think for people on how they are telling you that this is how I want to serve God. You cannot okay, do you, know, do you even know that this is how most of our music artists leave the church to the world because they feel I can also serve God outside the church and no, at the end of the day it's not different do you know job this is job offer? no she's asking me a direct question church becomes breeding ground for lazy lazy people and, 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 yeah, not, and how people let me even tell you let me tell you not having i was money. a media member in my in the church mm -hmm. yeah. i worked with the camera for for some years mm -hmm. i needed money yeah and i left i got a job offer Okay. outside that community mm -hmm. so i left there so when i got there do you know what they told me in that place where i got that job they said that if you if they must employ you here if they must employ you here you, they will give you a quarter to stay you don't leave that premise because what they deal with there they don't want you to take it out like so what did you so do? i don't steal it yeah. what did you do? do you know what i did i took that job for um the first month yeah all right because there was you a church it. hold on i want to tell you something <laughs> i took it for the first month because there was a church close by but when I slept, one of the one of one one of the days I woke up, I was like, ah, I lost my peace. This wasn't because I was not serving God. I just told you that there was a church close by. I was still attending, but yeah. I cannot go. I I lost my peace. I lost. That was my main focus for this guy. I lost my concentration. Do you know what I did? Like that young man said, I just went on my prayer room. I prayed. But why did you pray before accepting the job? Why like, did I pray? Well, yeah, you would that's like, what I'm you saying. Would like, that's what I'm saying. 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 That it's not all open doors that like God does. Because it I actually not, prayed before I went for that job. Doors. Yes. You understand that? Yeah. God but do you know what doors. I now did? Eh? What happened? What happened is that when I prayed, I heard this clear. He said, leave that place. See. So what I'm saying is that he falls back to what, uh, was, it, was it Emmanuel? So what what yes. Emmanuel said. He said that young man should go back. And pray. He doesn't fall back to what he Emmanuel falls back to. Jews just saying because that he's lazy. You are not even looking job, at yes, the part issue, issue, issue that, that he should go and pray. That he should make inquiries. Not God not cannot give you a that job that will confuse you. That's God, my point. God cannot Since give you are saying that, that you I don't manage. have a point. That you cannot manage. Yes, exactly. You cannot manage. exactly. And God cannot leave you poor. I can even categorize that boy without that. money. How you go? Because the young man tell you that he's poor. Okay, how is he this taking care of his mom? How is he taking care of his mom? tell you that they tell you that God is already he's giving him sources, he's or he's, and his family he's not, is suffering. He's not suffering. That's why he's telling. He's you not suffering. He for, he's not the, there. He didn't. He didn't state it out that he's it suffering. He's there. Can't you read between he the lines? He said it that you his saying? mother. He, he's he's aging. To take care he's of his mother. He's aging. He just said this so that you will be compassionate. He said he does not need the work at all. He said he needs a job. Do you think this man? Not the work. Do you think if this young man stop saying the work like you are forcing him to go and take the banking job? 
mean, okay, no, I, I, I like what he's saying. Yeah. Look, that's why you're standing because yeah. if you say he's lazy because the banking job came and like not what he's saying. He needs a job, right? Because he's not I'm trying sure to I'm sure that had he be in you want to do something. Then that's why we are here to give him other options. To advise him to take, to check other, that's why somebody called and said, pray. Ask God for direction. <laughs> and you are just saying he's lazy. You should go and take the banking so job. Things. So if that's if that's the only point you have picked, then that's fine. I've said that so because things, the this laziness now is covering every of the other okay. points. It's the okay. bedrock. Okay. It is the bedrock. Being lazy is the bedrock. Comfort he's not lazy. Okay. Comfort he's not lazy. Well, I don't know who this person is, but you are not lazy. We are out of time. <laughs> Jesus so name. We, have to, we have to give our last words. Lazy. Okay. My last word here is I think you should, how can I put it? I think you should pray. Yeah. That's my first advice that I will give you wherever you are. I think you should pray about it. And I think you should learn more. Apart from your banking job, your banking skills, mm -hmm. I think you should do research, mm -hmm. learn how to do some other things so yeah. that you will not be confused. And then they will put God at the front. So that at, that at this kind of, um, I don't know, when you, are, when you have this kind of problem, you will know that, okay, apart from me doing this banking job, I can still do this thing. I have still have these skills. For the period of time that I'm still, be, I'm still president, choir president, I can still have some money to take care of my mom and all that. But the most important, please pray about it. I'm sure the Holy Spirit is the best teacher, the best advisor. So that's for me. All right, <laughs> No, I don't know why you should look at me when you're calling my name. Uh -uh. Like, we're out of time. Okay, so okay, it's true. We're out of time. But that wouldn't stop me from saying that this young man should go back and read Psalm 32, 8 to 9. Okay? He said, he will instruct you and he will guide you. That's what he said. If God wants to tell you to move ahead, resign as a choir president, leave somebody there, go and do all that thing, he will tell you. Thank God, I'm happy that you started this and you're telling us that you're a Christian, you're a believer. So you have every tendency to hear from God. So please, that's my advice to you. Pray, ask God for direction. Not, don't ask God for a job, ask him for direction. Thank you. All right. Um, yes, like we've all seen so far, it has been a very complex situation. But mm. then I'll begin by saying this. First, you should understand that we live in a society whereby what you study in school doesn't necessarily or primarily determine what your life becomes or the outcome of your life becomes. You should understand that first. Then secondly, you should understand what it really means to serve God. As a Christian, as a believer, you should understand that there are so many ways in which you can serve God. And then thirdly, you should also understand that as a young man growing up, you have a mom to take care of. You would make a family. You would get married tomorrow. You would settle down. You, even in the choir where you're serving, you will still need to make some contributions in the position or the capacity as a leader. So you need to work and you need a source of income out, outside um, serving in the church. And then also one thing you should understand is this. The fact that you step down from the office of being a choir master does not mean that you are no longer serving God. But now nobody is asking you to step down. It is simple. If you feel that a banking job would not be, um, would not be convenient or would not make it convenient for you to serve God in the way that you think you want to, then let it be. Like Lizzie has said, Learn something. Build yourself in other areas. We, we, are, we, are in, we, are in, we are at a stage in life whereby there are so many things you can do. And that is why I will put it outrightly to you. I'm sorry to say, I don't know if it sounds harsh, but you are lazy. In the church today, so many pastors, so many ministries are being burdened with the problems and the challenges of other people. Because people have the mindset that when you are in church, you shouldn't work again. And so you are depending on churches, you are depending on ministries, and that's what still spreads this thing out to the society whereby you feel that churches are responsible to do certain things. So in a nutshell, young man, while you are praying and you are waiting to hear from God, please also know that 
this situation is one that would not even arise if you had gotten yourself busy, skillful, involved in other areas. I, we, are, we are out of time, so there's so much I can't say right now. But I believe that from everything everyone has said today, from every single contribution, you have been able to pick something. You're a Christian. Go down on your knees. Pray. But all oh youth, you need to also build yourself. Build. That is it. I'm James Comfort. Yes, and I'm the... And I'm Lizzie K. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye for now. Do not forget, next week, same station, same, same time. time. <laughs> <laughs> and you go hot. <laughs> to showcase to the world that which will satisfy the need of humanity of course with celebration tv it will get the desired reciprocation you long for we are committed to giving your business and services that quality touch of class and you will be happy you made the right choice by placing that investment of yours on the right platform without delay you can call on this number for your advert placement, partnership, or sponsorship of our programs. Celebration Television, your best bet.